Dragon's Do by Steve Smallman Five bored Vikings went out hiking, looking for adventure. But what could they do? Let's have a battle, said Grim, or steal some cattle. But the other Viking said, well, that's nothing new. Let's go fishing in the dark for a massive monster shark, suggested Bushy Big Beard. But Harold hollered, Pooh! Let's wrestle with a bear in just our underwear. But the other Viking said, Well, that's nothing new. I'm really bored with hiking, moaned Yop the Grumpy Viking. Then little Loggy Longsock said, I know what we'll do. We'll go and catch a dragon, then tie it to a wagon, then take it home and chop it up and make a dragon stew. And the other Viking said, Now that's something new. So they picked up the wagon that they needed for the dragon, a stack of sardine sandwiches, in case they missed their tea, a fishing net, a ball of string, a pointy dragon poking thing, and stuffed them in a longboat and rowed it out to sea. They sailed away together through stormy winds and weather till the squelchy squeezy squid came looking for a fight. But one whiff of Harold's sock and the squid collapsed in shock, and in no time all its tentacles were tied up good and tight. They journeyed on and on till all the sandwiches were gone. But where was Dragon Island? They didn't have a clue. Then Bushy grabbed the tail of a passing killer whale and said, Take us to the dragon, or we'll make a stew of you. Five happy Vikings went out hiking on a fearless quest to catch a dragon for their stew. They tiptoed over logs and they splashed through squelchy bogs till they came across a gleaming, steaming pile of dragon poo. They hurried on until they saw a knobbly bobbly hill. Let's climb it, Loggy Longsock said. We'll get a better view. Are we there yet? grumbled Yop as they struggled to the top. Then they all shouted together, Oh dragon, where are you? And the dragon said, Here I am, how do you do? Visitors, how sweet. Now would you like something to eat? Yes, cried the Vikings, fresh dragon stew. Then they started to attack him and to poke him and to whack him and the dragon said oh really what a nasty thing to do the dragon twitched his snout and a jet of flame shot out a burst behind the vikings and set their pants alight harold hollered hide and grim said my backside and they lugged it to their longboat with their bottoms burning bright. Five saw Vikings, all quite liking, calling off their bottoms in the sea so blue. Harold said, we're lucky, dragon probably tastes yucky. Then Bushy roared, I'm really bored, so now what can we do?